I broke that. All right, so on the Home Depot's website, I stumbled across a deal I could not refuse because I was looking for a certain battery. So what I found out on the Home Depot's website is you cannot do a regular a general search when it comes to finding out the compact 3 amp hour HP batteries. You actually need to enter the model number of the, th uh, of the batteries to actually see them. So the model number for these special batteries is P195. All right, so the regular three amp hour uh, HP battery is P191. Now there is a major difference in weight, power, and size between these two three amp hour HP batteries. The P195 is smaller, more compact, heavier, and more powerful than this one is. So uh, we are gonna put this to the test today and see what the difference is between pow and, and power. Now I got, uh, they had a deal going on. It was $80 for uh, $80 each uh, and they come with a, a free two amp hour battery. So I bought, I wanted two of them for the, for the channel. And so I got two. And I also got two 2 amp hour batteries because I didn't even have any 2 amp hour batteries. So to me, this deal was fantastic. Now I needed 2 amp hour batteries to do versus videos against other 2 amp hour batteries. So the, the so it worked out very well. So 160 bucks for four batteries, including two extremely special batteries, is awesome. Now let's take let's take a look at the size difference between the. 3 amp hour HP to the compact 3 amp hour HP. So as you can see, there is a major difference in size. This is closer to the size of a 1.5, uh, 1.3, 1 or a 2 amp hour battery. It's a little bit bigger than that. So if you compare the regular 3 amp hour HP battery to it, major difference. So we are going to see what the difference is between the compact, bigger celled version of the regular 3 amp hour HP batteries. Put this on a drill. And we'll look at that. So we're going to do a, a couple of tests with the P251 uh, brushless hammer drill and the P238 brushless impact. And we're just going to see what the difference is. All right, so first we are gonna use the regular HP battery, P191. And so full charge, we are gonna first do a one inch hole. All right, we are gonna do two holes, not at once. We're gonna do one time, uh, one individually. That's fine, we'll just scoot over a little bit. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> We're going to do one more. All right, so three, two, one, go. Time. Very good. We are going to swap out the regular HP, put in the new compact 3 amp hour HP, P195, it has full battery, this is my first time testing this out, I'm excited, I want to see what it does, alright so 3, 2, 1, go. Time. Like I said, I don't know the results are. I find the, I find the results out after the test is done. All right, next one. Three, two, one, go. Time. Now, I stopped the clock. 
And I stopped the timer as soon as this goes all the way through and slams into the wood. That's when the timer stops. We are going to use a 3 8 uh, DeWalt drill bit for this one. I got this a little bit ago and I was waiting for a good opportunity to test it out and I think this is the perfect test. That difference. Massive. So we are going to use a 3 amp hour, still full, a regular 3 amp hour P191. Alright, so this hole is going to be interesting. So let's see what it does. We're going to do uh, three holes in a row, but we are going to judge that based on what the first one does. If it does poorly, we'll just do two. All right, so three. Wait, make sure this is tight. All right, so three, two, one, go. All right, we did a test. That was a test to see if we could do it. Now, we're going to do three in a row without stopping. All right, so three, two, one, go. All right, that's three. I think we have plenty of space. I'm gonna start off with this one. All right, so we are good to go. Battery is full, speed two, it's on drill. All right, so three, two, one, go. Done. Wow. Wow. What a difference in power. What's the battery on that? 75%. What's this one at? 75%. Alright, so first, we're going to use Tac Life to do this test. I'll put the link for these in the description below. I use these to conduct my test, and I abuse the crap out of these. And these things hold up pretty, pretty well without shredding metal everywhere. You don't see metal anywhere i'm pretty sure there's a couple of uh, shards here and there but this is not completely glazed over with metal so we are going to conduct two tests we're going to do two four inches and two six inches so we're going to use the regular three amp hour hp battery first three two one bit below it but it's okay excellent so now we're gonna use the battery still full we're gonna use a three amp hour compact HP battery all right so we are ready to go in three two one go done Done, done, done. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Six inches next. Both batteries are full. Three, two, one, go. Done. Time. Battery shows again, 75%. That'll go back up in a few minutes. All right, so I got the HP 3 amp hour compact. Battery is full. Got the 6 inch, a speed 3. All right, so 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> There 
There we go. Done. And I want to show you guys, and let me show you guys the attack life really quick. Sagat sets are awesome. You seriously got to get these. Like, for, for how often I use these and the kind of tests that I do, yeah, they're awesome. All right, so... That one took me by surprise, in all honesty. I was not, I thought that would be a little bit more powerful at the end. But let's start taking these out. We're going to do this uh, at once. We're going to do one four inch and one six inch. So, three, two, one. Okay, done. That is done. Test is done for the three, the regular three amp hour P191. Compact P195, bad at 75%. All right, so three, two, one, go. Ooh, I broke that. Yep, I, it was in, just a matter of time. But luckily, we got more. I'll pick up another pack of these. So three, two, one, go. Done. Done, done, done. I'm amazed that broke, wow. Honestly, about time it broke because I've been doing I've been doing tests like this, you know, not a lot, but I've been doing it for a year. I'm amazed it survived that long. So the the, the results are there, you know. But no matter what, I like the compactness of the battery. I, I really do. There's a big size difference between them. So in a upcoming video, we're going to test out the Carbide Milwaukee reciprocating blade. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.